Did Eastman take their best value guitar and make it even more valuable? We're gonna find out right after this. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Glad to have you here. We just got in the brand new deluxe series from Eastman that just released DLX. lots of guitars. In fact, we didn't get all of them, but there's like 10 or 12 different ones. Why not? And they took their most value brand, I guess, value Based. models uh, out of here, which are the all solid E1 series or 100 series uh, from Eastman in the Grand Auditoriums. And they added a whole bunch of extra things for not a whole lot of money. This one I'm holding right now is the uh, AC222 Gold Burst. So nice. then you're holding an E1SS. These are two of the new ones that actually added some really cool things to them, including some new finishes. But basically what they did was take this entire series and add a full gloss finish. This is very nice. They upgraded the pickup in them now, so they now have the Fishman Precis system in them and just gave you a whole lot more for not a lot more money. That's a so, great thing when, when people give you more for you not a lot more. That. I also cost. think it, it, it really, not only did it change the sound of them by adding these full gloss finishes, but it actually made them look better. Yeah. The oven call. Kind of raised the, the bar a little bit. When I saw the oven call on uh, the E3 and the 222. The open pour kind of sat in. It just kind of was like, yeah, it's okay. As soon as I saw it in gloss finishes, it was yeah. awesome. And that's what, anybody that's ever seen like a piece of unfinished wood and you get it wet, it just really makes all the, the different grains and stuff really stand out. And then when you put that gloss finish on there and kind of seal it that way, it really catches the light and makes it look like a higher end instrument for sure. Now again, part of the fact that they are now tied in with the Bourgeois, they actually have that same finish that they use on Bourgeois guitars. Uh, they're calling it their True Tone finish, um, but it is the same formula that you would see on standard models from Bourgeois. So it's a very durable finish. It looks great. It finishes out and uh, polishes out well. Protects the guitar, obviously. So price point on these guitars, they're coming anywhere starting at the E1, E2 series, coming in at $769, working their way up to uh, $899 as their top end. Uh, this, so all under $900. Again, with a very nice padded gig bag, bone nut and saddles are still standard as well as always being hand voiced and uh, just a really well built guitar. And I think before with the open pour satin finish, it kind of made it look a little bit more like a bar budget guitar. Now with that full gloss finish, just from appearance standpoint, it looks like they're full uh, top level. I'll be build. honest with you, I have walked in, we've had the E1 Deluxe in the shop for a couple weeks now. Um, and I walk in there and I had a customer who's asking me uh, the difference between an E6 and an E10. And it was hard for me to notice the difference between the E1 uh, Deluxe now because of the fact that it looks, I mean, this guitar looks almost identical to the E10 SS if they're put right next to each other. Again, it is a little bit different in the mahogany back and sides versus Sapele back and sides, but uh, you're getting, again, a lot less money where I think the E10 runs you somewhere around the $1,300, $1,400 range. You're now going to put this in that uh, 660 or 679 whatever it was. It's not their PCH low entry level one, but kind of took that mid-range price one and made it a little bit more deluxe. You're correct. I think this is going to be a home run, especially these new colors, the 12 string. The, these two guitars that we're holding right now, I think are just fantastic. And honestly, every one of the ones we've had so far in the shop has gone quick. So, so we're going to try to do something a little bit different. We're going to try to give you guys our ratings uh, based on the entire series. It's going to be a little bit difficult because there's a lot of guitars to kind of different do sounds with. go on. But honestly, there's a lot of similarities to almost all these guitars. So let's start with, on our scale of one to five, uh, our tone here. Again, the E1D has been one of my favorite guitars for a long period of time. I now think it has actually been upgraded and made even better. Uh, as well as the uh, oven call back and sides, the E3s, I think having the, the, the solid uh, gloss finish has actually tightened up the tone and made it a little bit better. Punch so again, maybe. at its price point, I'm going to give it a 4.75. I do think these are great sounding guitars. Yeah, like, like always, we're in like comparison to like price range. We're comparing with other uh, manufacturers. I think Eastman uh, ne definitely knocks it out of the park. And now with that... Uh, glossy finish so that it does kind of tighten up the tone a little bit more so I'm going to give it a 4.5 as well. Setup and playability obviously Eastman's always done a pretty darn good job with this it's not your 
finest of setups, um, but it is a really, really good one. So I'm going to give it a 4.5. Yeah, I think if I'm going to be in that same price range, uh, it definitely deserves to be up there because we don't have to do hardly anything on these when they come in every now and then. One doesn't pass QC. We have to lower the saddle a little bit or raise the saddle. But in general, uh, four and a half st uh, stars for me as well. Okay. Uh, build quality. Uh, again, they do such a fantastic job. And honestly, they're building more bourgeois-like uh, every single time I see a series from these guys. Uh, all guitars are kind of stepping up that, to that same sort of level. I'm not going to say they're exactly the same, but they definitely are uh, trying to emulate that quality. So build quality, again, I'm going to give it a 4.75, some of the best ones uh, that I think in their price point. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to probably still stick with that 4.5 because I always like to leave myself a little room. But it's rare that we find anything as far as the actual build of the instrument that we don't like. So there you go. Aesthetics, uh, the looks of these guitars. I think that's where they really knocked it out. This is the, the major change here of upgrading the finishes as well as adding the sunburst to some of these models like the, uh, the SS as well as the... Uh, um, Sorry, the E2s with the Cedar. I think that looks great. The Gold Burst, I think, is a knockout. What they often call um, looks gorgeous. So, you know, I, I actually, I'm going to give this a five. I yeah. really think they've done a great job. I mean, there's not a lot of, like, uh, crazy inlays and stuff like that, but in that price range, to get real inlays, most of the time it'd be like a uh, hologram or something in that in this price. So I, de I definitely think that this deserves a five. They're, they look very attractive. And like you said, when they're in the shop, it's hard to tell them apart just looking at them from the e E10s, uh, E6 guitars that are hanging on the wall. So uh, they, they knocked it out of the park as far as uh, aesthetic upgrade. Yep. Uh, our shop's sustainable. We do know that uh, Eastman's pretty good at uh, sourcing their woods in uh, sustainable ways, um, and they've made a big effort towards that. So uh, they still do fo uh, follow our shop's sustainable check, and they will get those green tags when they come in the shop. Correct. Yes. Overall value... Guys, I think this is actually where these are just knocking it out. I do think this is, you know, if you're looking for a, a budget series, I don't think there's very many things at all right now that are going to check as many boxes as these do. So for me, I'm actually going to go all the way up here. I'm giving it a five. Yep. I think this is the model or this is the series that other manufacturers have to compare themselves to. And uh, they're doing a great job. I'm going to give this five as well. So here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to play. Uh, we got a bunch of the series in. There's not a few models them, that has not made its way into the shop yet. But we got a big bunch of them. We're going to play as many as we have here so you get a good sampling of what this series is all about. Uh, and give you great tone samples to kind of compare them all. So see if this works for you.
Deluxe Series Jair from Eastman. They really have done a really good job with this. I do think they're going to be moving a lot of units uh, because of the fact that they have so many uh, different models to offer yeah. with a lot of great features. If you guys like that or are also looking for other guitars in uh, various different price points, check out. We were at the NAMM show this year. 2024. And I walked all over there. We played so many guitars and we ranked our favorite guitars in all every price point uh so lots of really cool guitars and we have a link to that right over here so go ahead and click that you check it out and with that's just got so many guitars yeah. i mean 
ten thousand. You'd have to go to the the Nam show yourself to get this many guitars, guitars yeah. to try out. So many. Anyway, check it out, and we will see you on the next video. Have a good one, guys.